lovelies, my name is Emily and this is my channel Painful Clarity and today I'm just going to give you an update. <sighs> Seems like I'm always just giving you like half updates. Um, but first, I got these two really cute cards from my sister and from one of my best friends, Monica. She made this card, so it's really cute. And then my sister sent me these really, really cute gold owly earrings. Aren't they sweet? So I'm really excited. They're so cute and they look like hearts. Um, so yeah, that is that. The next thing is on Tuesday, I got a phone call from my oral surgeon and they finally got the CAT scan results back. Um, he decided that he does have to do a bone graft because the bone is too thin there. And that's fine. It's like an extra thousand dollars. <laughs> no big deal, huh? Um, but anyways, I was really excited to get the phone call and then they said I had to come in to get a dental implant for the guide. I have no idea. But, and then that takes a week. So this is starting to get really aggravating because I said, well, I went in and they, they said you can come in at 3.30 today, which is when I've usually been sleeping lately or nine o'clock tomorrow. And so I made an appointment for nine o'clock. I went in and I talked to the nurse and I said, listen, the only reason that I'm in Florida right now is because of the surgery and waiting for the surgery. Like I'm missing like my best friend's graduation. Like I'm missing important things to be here because I don't trust anyone but Dr. Bowtie to do my surgery so she was like really understanding and um because I said you know when I got the CAT scan they told me it was going to be a week and then it turned into a couple weeks and then it turned into why didn't they tell you it was going to be a month and I don't want to go through that again like I know that the surgery is going to be really painful because they're going to be doing a bone graft it's going to be um uh the implant that they're doing like it has to be um, covered and there has to be like a little silicone patch put where my gum is because my gum was uh, cut before and so there's not much gum there so they kind of have to like stretch the gum out a little bit to cover the dental implant when I finally get that and um, so I told her like I really want to be here for the recovery which is three to four months because if something goes wrong like what happened with this tooth I want to be right here. I don't want to be in another situation where I go back to North Carolina and no, no surgeons, no oral surgeons. Like, the hospital's way far away here. It's super close. Like, I just don't want to go through that again. And so she said that she was going to talk to the receptionist, and I heard her talking to her when I was leaving that, um, like, to make my appointment as soon as possible. And I told her, like, I understand this is not, like, an emergency surgery like my other one was. But, um, it certainly, like, would be great if I could get it done as soon as possible so that I can eventually leave Florida and go back to my friends, like, at some point in my life. But it just seems like this is dragging on forever. <laughs> and, um... You know three to four months is a long time to wait to get a tooth when I've already not had a tooth for three to four months so this is getting a bit long so I think she pretty she was pretty understanding and I just asked her some question more questions about the surgery and like you know is it gonna be longer um, to recover since I'm getting the bone graft and like you know just things like that but I'm kind of glad they're doing the bone graft because it's going to make it more stable and for the implant to not move around and everything so I'm hoping that um, that works out well and uh, I wish I was getting the the actual tooth here um, because I could be referred by them and they could kind of just really communicate really well so, uh, but that's not going to be the case. I'm probably going to be getting it done in Florida, I mean in North Carolina, unless I'm stuck here for some unknown reason because it takes a couple weeks for them to get the dental implant um, ready and everything. But 
I really would like to, I don't want anyone taking a scalpel to my gums besides Dr. Botai, let's just put it that way. So, um, that would be really nice if I could have him do that right before I leave. And then when I get to North Carolina, I think I'm going to go to my mom's dentist to get a cap, you know, not a cap, but like a tooth to put onto the dental implant. So we'll see how all that goes and hopefully I heal well. I don't heal well, so we'll see. I'm usually in my fibro flares, but I just want to get it over with and I just want to go through the pain and start the recovery and I just want to do it. Like I just want it to start already and stop waiting for it, like waiting around for them to call and oh, it's just so aggravating. Um, I just want to get it done and start healing and going to be a process so um my allergies have been insane um but I have been really glad that I'm not in North Carolina with snow and horrible weather because it's been really pretty and nice here um so I've just been like crocheting and playing H1Z1 and I'm about to walk catch up on um Walking Dead and Talking Dead because that's my favorite show so I'm really excited for that. I would love if in the comments if you would let me know how you're doing and what you're doing and what you're up to in your life right now. I would love to hear about that in the comments down below. Um, please make sure you subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway when I hit 300 subscribers. If not, I'll probably just do one anyways because I don't really care about the number. It's just an excuse to give back to you guys when, I, when you hit a certain number. Um, and that's it. I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. I'm sending out X double O's. And I love you guys so much. And 